Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids! Today we're going to tell you about Love bugs. The love bug is a species of March fly found in parts of Central America and the southeastern United States, especially along the Gulf Coast. Love bugs are not native to Florida. They migrated slowly across the Gulf states from Central America and reached the Florida Panhandle in 1949. It is also known as the honeymoon fly, telephone bug, kissy bug, or double-headed bug. During and after mating, mature pairs remain together even in flight for up to several days. Dang, boy! The species was first described in 1940 by D.E. Hardy, but was seen in Louisiana as early as 1911. At that time, he reported the incidence of love bugs to be widespread, but most common in Texas, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. However, by the end of the 20th century, species had spread heavily to all areas bordering the Gulf of Mexico, as well as Georgia and South Carolina. L.A. Hittrick writing in 1970, found the bug was also widespread in central northern Florida and described its flights as reaching altitudes of 980 to 1,480 feet and extending several kilometers over the Gulf. Wow! Love bugs larvae feed on partially decayed vegetation in the landscape and in this respect are beneficial to humans. Adults primarily feed on nectar from various plants, particularly wheat, clover, goldenrod, and Brazilian pepper. Adult love bugs often feed on the nectar of flowering plants. Localized love bug flights can number in the millions. Male or female pairs join tail to tail will hover in the air, drifting slowly. Two major flights occur each year. The spring flight occurs during late April and May, and the summer flight occurs during late August and September. There can also be a smaller flight in December. Flights extend over periods of four to five weeks in South Florida. A third but smaller flight can occur in December, mating takes place almost immediately after emergence of the females. Adult females live only three to four days, while males live a little longer. They have to stick to each other at all times. This species' reputation as a public nuisance is due to not to any biting or stinging. It is incapable of either, but due to its slightly acidic body chemistry. There are not any health risks to humans and disease cannot be transmitted through them because airborne love bugs can exist in enormous numbers near highways. They die in large numbers on automobile windshields, hoods, and radiator grills when the vehicle travels at high speed. Left for more than an hour or two, the remains become extremely difficult to move. In the past, the acidity of the dead adult body, especially the female's egg masses, often resulted in pits and etches in the automotive paint and chrome, if not quickly removed. However, however, advances in automotive paints and protective coating have reduced this threat. Now, the greatest concern is excessive clogging of the vehicle radiator, air passage, bodies of the adults with 
reduction of the cooling effect on engines and obstruction of the windshields when remains of the adult and egg masses are smeared on the glass. Dang, my Love bug adults are attracted to light colored surfaces, especially if they are freshly painted, but adults congregate almost anywhere apparently reacting to the effects of sunlight on automobile fumes, asphalt, and other products affected by environmental factors, still not completely understood. Urban legend holds that love bugs are synthetic, a result of a University of Florida genetics experiment gone wrong. The myth claims love bugs were genetically engineered by a U.S entomologists attempting to create a species of virile female insects that would mate with male mosquitoes, preventing them from creating offspring through that process. The scientists mistakenly created the love bugs and somehow escaped into the wild. A fun story, but totally untrue. Research by L.L. L. Bushman so that migration explained the introduction of the love bug into Florida and other southeastern states, contrary to the urban myth that the University of Florida created them by manipulating DNA to control mosquito populations. That's a dime on a whiskey. That's a love bug on a whiskey. My speculation about the love bug still thrives. This is partly because the larval form of this insect is seldom seen, but as it lives and feeds in the thatch of grasses for most of the year, while various fungi are suspected of being natural controls for this species, biological controls of these non-pest flies is not priority for funding. Love bugs are subject to some significant natural controls such as various parasitic fungi in dry weather, which dries out the thatch, resulting in a higher mortality rate for the immatures. As the love bugs migrated around the Gulf Coast, first to Texas, then into Louisiana, and further eastward, the initial populations were many years were so excessive that they caused public concern and initiated rumors of their origin. However, as pest populations migrate naturally, their natural controls are usually not far behind. While it often took decades, love bugs' flights are no longer present in huge numbers that once existed simply because their natural controls, mostly fungi, caught up with established populations in many areas. Local love bug flights may only be present in excessively large numbers due occasionally to local conditions that may not be repeated in successive years. While love bugs are not favored foods of most insectivores due to their acidic taste, love bug larvae and some adults are food for birds such as quail, robins, arthropod, predators, and spiders. Some predatory insects such as earwigs, at least two species of beetle larvae, and centipedes. Oh yeah! Female love bugs can lay as many as 100 to 350 eggs. Oh my god! And regularly lay these eggs around decaying material on the top layer of ground soil. Love bug eggs generally hatch after two to four days, depending on white season. Once the eggs have hatched, larvae start feeding on the decaying material around them, such as decaying plants on the soil and other organic material, and live and remain in the soil until they develop to the pupa stage. During the warmer months, the love bug larvae remain in the larvae phase for approximately 120 days and approximately 240 days during the cooler months. Love bugs typically stay in the pupa stage about seven to nine days before reaching the adult phase. 
in which they can start reproducing. When a lucky male unites with a female, their abdomens will stay attached for up to two days, although mating only lasts about 12 hours. The male then dies and is dragged around by the female. Hey, Monkey Mark, I heard rumors about you lately. What is it, Queen Christian? I heard the rumor that you're a love bug. <laughs> you got a girlfriend. Christian, you know what I do. What? Tell me. Have a girlfriend. A love bug girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this adventurous kids episode. Woo and what did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous. Adventurous.